So this is a sample solo over Autumn Leaves. I'm going to be using exclusively the licks from the lick course. And you can see how you can form a really nice sounding solo just from using licks. I'm going to start with by playing the last eight bars of the melody and then I'm going to do two choruses of Autumn Leaves. One, two, a one, two, three. So, as you can hear, it sounds really good. Now, these licks are from the lick course, and I have sat down and spent a bit of time making sure that they fit in the places that I think they sound good, in you know, in, in an order that um, I'm happy with kind of thing. And I have added extra notes to make it flow from lick to lick. Uh, it sounds a little bit cut and paste, doesn't it? Here's one lick, pause, here's another lick, pause. But I mean, it, it literally is a cut and paste job. But I have created this in a way that I feel I feel sounds nice and it is a note for note solo that I'll put in a PDF and you can have a look at. And I'll absolutely encourage you to do the same in terms of sitting down and creating a, a sample solo yourself with some of the licks from the course, with your own licks, of course. And see if you can formulate a solo that you're really happy with using a lot of the language that you have a kinship with. This is the whole point about learning licks. You're learning phrases that you like. Now, when you sit down and write a sample solo like this, of course, it's, it's not improvising. So, Using licks in an improvising context is where the real fun starts. Sample solos are great for seeing how the licks work in context and composing, if you like, a nice lyrical melodic solo over a, a standard like Autumn Leaves. But when you have licks under your fingers that you know inside out, back to front, not literally, well, you could, um, then that's where the real fun starts, where you're entering into a solo, you have some stock phrases that you're going to use, and you can, on the spot, compose a solo using some of these stock phrases and see where it takes you. And you may use a lot of them, you may use only a few of them, but 
they're there for you to use should you see fit. And they're absolutely essential because it took me a while, it took me a while to, to realize that actually using licks in a solo is not cheating. And having, you know, Charlie Parker had stock phrases he used all the time. If you can look through the Omnibook, you'll see repeated licks all over the place. And that's because he liked how they sounded and used them a lot over the same, the same chords. But always have the licks you use. Obviously, you don't overuse them in a solo. If you're going to play exactly the same phrase, you know, I'd recommend not playing it two, three, four times in a row. <laughs> but um, use them how you see fit. They'll be under your fingers. One of them might come out without you sort of meaning it to. And that's sort of where all the, all the fun begins. So learn the licks. Have them absolutely under your fingers, exactly. And then you can start to embellish, adapt, improvise.